Well, welcome to Cabin Time, Oregon, everybody. I like my hairdo. Isn't it getting crazy? You know, for an old man, sometimes I got too much hair. So I think I have to make an appointment. I think my three or four months is up. I forget when the last time I had a haircut. But anyway, today, it's after Christmas. I got the wife coming up. I think we're going to do dinner at the cabin. Well, lunch. I got fried potatoes and I've got beans cooking on the stove right now. Let me show you. Okay. Check this out, eh? This is Greg's hometown cooking here. That's chili. And I threw in there some uh, good old sausage for good measure. They look good. It's too bad I ain't got everybody's phone number. I can just call you and have you come on over. And over here, got me a hot cup of cowboy coffee. I gotta be careful with this lens because every time I get near steam it's like voila. So there's my fried spuds with onion. Those have been cooking a little while. Got them on the stove just kind of keeping them hot. And of course the famous, world famous, Cabin Time Oregon cowboy coffee. Let me take it over to my table. I got it all set and looking pretty. Since this is the moose crack Look at there. Got a moose. Isn't that awesome? And if you look at my other plate, this is more me. I'm more of a bear, grouchy old son of a, well, I can't say. But sometimes I am. The wife lets me know. She's my reminder. And check out my Christmas decoration there in the window. Yeah, we're dealing with a little bit of bright sky that, a lot of clouds up there. But what do you think of that, huh? That's all me. My mom's uh, lamp, my shotgun shell, I think that's a candle holder of some sort. It looks like there's a candle crud in the bottom. Of course, I got my happy face, smiley sun. That keeps me going all year. You got to have some sunshine, right? Ain't no sunshine in my... Well, uh, whatever it goes. So anyway, yeah, I got some Christmas bulbs up around the cabin. We didn't get too carried away this year for whatever reason, sadly. But man, I tell you what, I got that little stove cranking today. It feels really good. It's only about 50 outside, so it's probably 70 in here. Put the lid back on there. You behave. Behave. So, yeah, I got the wife coming up. We're going to sit down and enjoy us a little bit of a meal. With that being said, I'll get back to you. I'll let you know how it all went. I brought me up another little decoration there. So here's my guest for lunch today. Why don't you turn around and so everybody in the whole world can see you. Merry Christmas! I don't know, you're, you're looking kind of dark there over there in the corner. Okay, that's better. I want to make sure everybody's seen my wife here. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> You Happy any, New Year. You want to see anybody, to, anybody hun, like mom or brother, sister? Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Okay, there you go. I think that just about says it all. And there it is. Chili sausage with fried potatoes. Onion thrown in for good measure. This is the wife's plate. So here we go. <laughs> Man, was that good. Whoo! Lordy. <laughs> it was delish. I think I may have to go back for seconds. Blue liked it so much. He helped me eat my sausage, didn't you, Pop? Huh? You're my helper, bud. He goes, yes, more please, more please. Knucklehead. All right, we're just enjoying the weather. Let me give you a close-up outdoors here. If I can get through my window. There it is, no rain currently, but I, I haven't told everybody that my little spring out there is just raging right. again. I love it when it does that. When you sleep up here at night, all you hear is sound like a waterfall outside my window. Really cool, people, really cool. Okay, I gotta eat, bye. Okay, everybody, this is Greg and Diana, Camp Time, Oregon. First time ever having uh, lunch up here together. 
kind of a special day, huh? Have we had lunch up here before? You're allowed to speak, huh? This camera over here is going to record you. I don't have it. Well, you got nothing to say. Oh, you're a big help. Get your full? Yeah. I think we had more than enough to eat. Blue helped me out on my sausages. He's a good sausage eater. And he's laying down. He's had enough. Enough fun for today. Right, Blue? <clears throat> Maybe I fed him too much, too. Yeah, if you don't eat it, that's okay, huh? I'll see if he'll eat it. Maybe he'll eat it. One of them things. Yeah. Okay, well, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Well, been a week since my last video, and I'm going to combine this one right along with the uh, last one. I got me a new cutting board, and if you look, if people know, maybe they don't know, but that is Oregon. Isn't that nice? I got me a cutting board the shape of Oregon. I think I'm going to use the back side here to cut on. That way I don't mess up this pretty side. But that is going to live right there on top of my marble. So today, what are we doing? Coffee. Cowboy coffee. Always, always, always cowboy coffee, right? Blue Dog's up here with me. He's hanging. I moved the table in the back room. I kind of like it back there, actually. I may just live there. I'm not sure about that yet, but for now, that's where she's going to be. Here's my fine cigar sign. Oh, let me just run you back here to the old wood stove. I got this dude cooking today. We're, we got a fire going. It's getting nice and warm in here. It's probably 48 today. It's not very warm. But, uh, you know, a little fire takes the chill off. Here's my counter. Still messy. I want to work on that. I want to clean that up a little bit. Improve things around here a little bit. And uh, been kind of taking the Christmas stuff down since Christmas is now over. So that'll have to come down as well. I got my my little Christmas balls down that were in the window. Hey, can you see anything? Look at that, would you? Wow. Sun is shining today. Been, it rained, I bet, 24 hours yesterday. It just never stopped. I and mean, if you've never been to Oregon, don't know much about Oregon, there are days when it starts to rain, it just will not stop. We've had five days in a row. People go nuts here because of that. Here's my new sign. All it says is fine cigars, and it's got a fine looking cigar right there. I found that at the Goodwill. It matches my other sign. Same exact criteria. So I thought, yep, got to have that. It's going to live at the cabin. Like everything else. Let's get out of this dark room, shall we? You're welcome. Okay, let me just kind of throw that in there. A little extra for you today. As we zoom around the old cabin. Well, like I told you guys in the past, my cabin is my little slice of heaven. I get Blue Dog up here, we hang out. Right, Blue? We have a good time, don't we? I threw a couple of spuds in the, the wood stove. I'm going to give them about 40, 45 minutes. I'll peel them out, see if they're worth eating today. Time will tell. So, so far it's 2.30 and I haven't ate today. It's been one of them days where you've kind of been keeping myself busy. It's a run, run, run day. And, uh, I thought, by golly, I'm getting kind of hungry. Now, Blue got him covered. We got milk bones up here for him. So, every hour or so, I try and give him one. Just kind of keep him happy. Right, Blue? Yeah, another great day in Oregon. That's all I got to say. Blue, you cannot sit in my lap. I'm sure you stop. He's scratching at the chair. You go, I want up in your lap. You don't fit. You, hey, seriously. Let me see if I can't refocus you there a little bit. That's better. Boo, I'm serious. You are going to be too big a dog. You cannot fit up here and sit on my lap. You want to try? You going to try? Oh boy, here he comes. Look out. Papa, I got the stove going. We got heat coming, Papa. You can't be that cold. It's not cold today, bud. I'm telling you. It's not a cold day. I think what he wants is he wants to go back to the house and lay on the couch. You want to go back to the couch? You want to go lay on your couch? 
Is that what you want? <coughs> oh, I hear you, sweetie. I hear you, Papa. Oh, there you are. I know. We'll, we'll go up in a bit, okay? Easy with them claws, bud. This guy, here lately, almost every day, he's out there digging in the in the yard looking for moles. I got mole hills scattered about. He'll dig a hole, and within hours, the mole will fill the hole back up. They don't like being open. Of course, if the mole leaves the hole open, I have about five cats, and they will just hover around that hole, thinking we're waiting until something comes up. And I don't blame them. Hey, hot meal is a great thing around here. You enjoy hot meals, bud. Yes, you do. He uh, bothers me at the table all the time. My wife gets mad, don't she? She gets mad because I feed you. I'm not supposed to feed you, and I know that. I know I'm not supposed to. But there are just times. I just it's hard for me. I'll, every time I've ever had a dog, they've uh, they've always kind of got a little table scraps along the way, and he enjoys those. I'm sure. It, a lot of you folks out there do the same thing. You can't spoil your dog. Just one of them things, ain't it, bud? I know. I hear you, sweetheart. I hear you. You're going to be okay. You are. You're going to be okay, bud. So a few that uh, don't know, Blue is coming up on, I guess June will make him three years old. So he's about two and a half now. Yep, you're a juvenile. You're a teenager, aren't you? I see 14. 15, 16, 17, yeah, we're about 17, 18 years old right now, in human years. Yep, I know, I'm fixing lunch for you, bud. I'm working on it. We're going to have potato with a little butter. Yeah, is that good? Yeah. Okay, guys, well, I just want to kind of give you a little touch up here on my video. I know, again, my Christmas video here with the wife, we had a great lunch up here that day. Man, it was a treat. Um, we thought Jacob was going to come join us. I invited him up. He did not join us. So the wife and I ate more than we needed. But um, you know what? When you're at the cabin, I think it's like being outdoors. Everything tastes better. The food is better, right, pup? And Blue got some, by the way. I fed him some sausage while we were eating our beans. I just kept picking them out. I think he probably ate more sausage than I did. Happens. It's a dog's life, right? So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to say adios, and I'm going to put this video out, and um, I will catch you on the next one. i got a bunch of work plans going on. Don't get me in the face, Bob. He's actually done these. He's scratching right across the face, just from, like, from the forehead clean down to my chin. Didn't ya? Yes. And then just uh, met the mark there for probably a week. Scar face. But it healed up. It's all good. Not really a scar face. Huh, Blue? But anyway, guys, um, live your life carefully. I'll catch you on the next one. Glad you could be here today. And audio from Oregon. Empty chair and cut. <laughs>